Hey guys, it's me Dave. It is, well, it's Friday the 13th today. There's lots of scary shows on TV. Uh, Friday the 13th is on. <laughs> There's like a marathon on, on cable. Um, so uh, I thought I'd do a little video. I'm having a drink, trying to let, relax and stuff. Um, uh, there's, uh, I got hit all day today. Um, remote ear monitoring, uh, molestation. Uh, these guys really like to molest you, um, around people. You know, they're classy guys, I tell you. They're classy guys. Uh, they like to molest you in your private parts and stuff. Uh, when you're going for a ride or you could be looking at a girl or, you know, uh, whatever, whatever the case may be, they like to sit there and molest you when you're watching TV or you're going out for a ride or you're around your family members. They like to sit there and molest you. It's unreal. Classy guys. We're dealing with classy uh, psychopaths. Uh, demented, psychotic uh, torturers. That's what they are. They've been torturing my gums. They've been torturing my teeth a little bit. And I will not stand for that. They tortured me big time for a week one time. They tortured my teeth for a week. I was in so much pain. I'm not going through that again. So I will go to the hospital. Um, if they sit here and hurt my gums and my teeth and, and they think they're going to get away with that, that's not going to happen. I will go. I, I'll go to the hospital. You know, I'll be like, hey, they're torturing my teeth. Uh, you need to get me out of here. I'm not playing these games anymore. I'm not doing it. Um, they don't want me to go to the hospital, and I know that, uh, which means I should go to the hospital when I'm getting hurt. You know, I should go when I'm getting hurt. Uh, they were hitting the side of my groin. Um, earlier, like a vein or something inside of my groin, um, which really kind of hurts. Um, you know, they are uh, perverted. Um, what they do is they, they want to blame us for everything. You know, they want to blame you. They want to blame you for your torture. Oh, it's your fault you're getting tortured. They did that when I got locked up the third time. They're like... Oh, you could have you could have called for help. You you could have you could have asked for help a long time ago. You didn't have to go through all that torture. You could have called for help and all this stuff, and your torture would have stopped and all this stuff. They will blame you and make you feel guilty for your own torture. None of this is our fault, you guys. This is a war crime, crime against humanity. And illegal what they're doing to us. And they deserve to be on death roll. That's what these people deserve. This is not our fault. We are, we know, there is no way in hell we're bringing this on ourselves. Even if we fight back. We don't deserve to be tortured. This is illegal. And they better pull their head out of their butt and realize that they have no right to torture us. They have no right to torture us. Okay, so, um, you know, they're sitting there molesting me, um, doing a lot of remote air monitoring and, you know, all this stuff all day long, you know, putting images in my head. What they'll do is they'll put an image in your head and then they'll torture you for it. They'll put an image in your head, and then they'll torture you in your private parts for it. Like, it, like it's my fault. You know, that's how demented and sick these bastards are. And they are bastards. You know, the way I look at it, the way I look at it is it doesn't matter if this program comes out or not. These people will pay. They're going to turn on these people. If they think they're safe from this, they better pull their head out of their butt. If they think they're safe from this, they're not. You know, they're criminals. Drug addicts, alcoholics, and all the scum of the earth. You know, they do not belong in our society. You know, they don't belong in our society. So, uh, the way I look at it is, if this comes out, or if it doesn't come out, these people are still going to pay. They're going to turn on these people. They're going to turn on them sooner or later. When they're done using them and abusing them, they're going to pay. And they're going to turn on these people. 
you know. I mean, you may be able to get away with it for years and years and years, but it will catch up with them. It'll catch up with them, and they'll go down, you know, whether, whatever, we don't know whether they're next or not, you know, and they're already discredited. All these people, they use their discredited. They can never go to the police, you know, because they're drug addicts and alcoholics and everything else, criminals. They can never go to the police and say something. You know, because they're already discredited. You know, they have criminal records, felons, you know, and everything else. So, and, and you know, the online perps are disappearing. The online perps are disappearing. Um, there's a certain somebody does a call on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. His calls are shortened. Um, his after call person doesn't want to do the calls all the time anymore. These people are disappearing, you guys, and they're going to disappear. This is just the beginning. This is only the beginning. Some is going on in these programs, and these online perps are disappearing too. They're disappearing because they're like, "Oh, I can't do a call today. I got a headache, or I didn't get much sleep, or oh, I I need sleep, so I'm gonna cut my call off early." You know, you know, this is a, a continuous pattern. They're gonna be disappearing. They're disappearing. Something's going on. There's something going on. If you just see the signs in the, in the patterns of what's going on, these people are disappearing. They're disappearing, and they're going to disappear, and they're going to keep on disappearing. And we'll see what happens next month. You know, maybe they're going to cut off more. Maybe, you know, maybe maybe we're not going to have any calls. There would be the time to have some real TIs have calls. You know, I I don't think I would be good at that. Um, I don't, I, you know, I really am a shy guy. Um, I don't uh, talk much in front of people and stuff like that. Um, I don't talk on those calls. I just listen for background noise. Um, but um, if we could get real TIs to start up calls and have real TIs go to them uh, for real support, um, that would be a good thing, you know. So we're, we're, keep our keep our eyes open, you guys. These people will be disappearing um, and stuff. So anyway, that's my video. I'm having a drink. Uh, I'm trying to relax. I'm gonna stay up until midnight, and then I'm gonna go to bed. It's almost eleven now. So um, other than that, that's what's going on with me. I got hit all day today, and it's been. Uh, you know, not very good. And they got the perps out all day, you know, making my dogs bark. Um, you know, that's one thing they do. They they always make the dogs bark. And I heard that from other TIs. What, what's with the barking dogs? They got to make your dogs bark all the time and try to stress, stress you out and everything else. And they will do that all day long because the, they got a fresh body. You know, they'll have, you know, somebody go over to the park and, and walk right by the fence where the dogs dogs are and make them bark and all this stuff. And then that person will go away and then they'll get, they'll get a fresh body in. You know, they're never going to get tired because they always have fresh bodies come and perp you and perp your dogs and everything else. So that's what they do. But anyway, so I'm going to cut this off. Um, I hope you guys have a good night and a good weekend and I'll talk to you guys later.